Welcome to Full Focus World. Today we will introduce you to 10 newly discovered animal species in 2023. These animals have both interesting and surprising features. Some are very cute, some are very dangerous. In this video, you will get to know them closely, learn where they live, what they eat and how they reproduce. If you're ready, let's start. Number 10. The Spotted Toad. Ansonia maculata. The discovery of a new species of toad in Borneo was made by a team of researchers from the University of Malaysia Sabah, the Natural History Museum London, and the Zoological Society of London. The team, led by Dr. Indurun Eldas, has been studying the diversity and evolution of amphibians in Southeast Asia for over a decade. The new toad, named Ansonia maculata or the spotted toad, is part of a group of amphibians that have adapted to living in fast-flowing streams and waterfalls in the highlands of Borneo. The toad has a distinctive appearance, with a brown body covered in black spots of various sizes. The spots are not just for camouflage, but also serve as warning signals to potential predators. The toad has glands on its head and back that secrete toxins that can cause irritation and pain. The researchers believe that the spotted toad is endemic to a small area of montane forest in Sabah, Malaysia. They estimate that there are fewer than 10,000 individuals left in the wild, and that the species is threatened by habitat loss and degradation due to logging and agriculture. They hope that their discovery will raise awareness and conservation efforts for this unique and vulnerable amphibian. Number 9. The Blue-Eyed Catfish. Pseudobagrus carolilius. A new species of catfish has been discovered in freshwater streams in China. The blue-eyed catfish, Pseudobagrus carolilius, is named after its distinctive blue eye spot on each side of its head, which contrasts with its brown body and cream blotches. The blue-eyed catfish also has whisker-like barbels around its mouth, which help it to sense its prey and environment. The blue-eyed catfish belongs to the genus Pseudobagrus, which contains about 40 species of small to medium-sized catfishes that are widely distributed in East Asia. Pseudobagrus was previously divided into two genera, Pseudobagrus and Peltiobagrus, but recent studies have shown that they are not distinct groups and should be merged. Pseudobagrus catfishes are adapted to various habitats, from fast-flowing hill streams to large rivers and lakes. The blue-eyed catfish was found in the Song Vinh Tran River drainage in central Vietnam, which is the southernmost record of the genus Pseudobagrus. It differs from its congeners by having fewer branched anal fin rays, 9 to 10 versus 13 to 22, and a unique combination of other morphological and coloration features. The blue-eyed catfish is described in a paper published in the journal Zootaxa by Ng and Freyhoff, 2023. Number 8. The Pink Orchid Mantis. Hymenopus rosaceus. A new species of mantis that looks remarkably like an orchid flower has been discovered by scientists. The pink orchid mantis, Hymenopus rosaceus, is a cunning predator that uses its colorful body parts to attract and trap prey. It is one of the most stunning examples of mimicry in the animal kingdom. The pink orchid mantis is part of the family Hymenopodidae, which contains other species of flowered mimics such as the Malaysian orchid mantis and the giant Asian mantis. These mantises are found in Southeast Asia, where they inhabit tropical forests and gardens. They can reach up to 6 centimeters in length and have four wings that enable them to fly short distances. What makes the pink orchid mantis so unique is its ability to imitate an orchid flower. It is pink and white legs and abdomen that resemble petals, and a green thorax that resembles a stem. It also has two large eye spots on its hind wings that resemble the center of an orchid. The mantis uses these adaptations to attract pollinators such as bees, butterflies, and flies, which it then grabs with its powerful forelegs and devours. The mantis can also change its color depending on the background, making it even more convincing as a flower. Number 7. The Dwarf Lantern Shark, Etmopterus nanus. The Dwarf Lantern Shark, Etmopterus perii, is a new species of shark that lives in the deep waters of the Caribbean Sea. It is one of the smallest sharks in the world, growing to only 20 centimeters, 8 inches, long. It has bioluminescent organs that emit light in the dark. This remarkable shark was first described in 1985 by American ichthyologists Stuart Springer and George H. Burgess, who named it after Perry W. Gilbert, a renowned shark biologist. The type specimen was collected by a research ship off the coast of Colombia in 1964, at a depth of 290 meters, 950 feet. 
The dwarf lantern shark belongs to the family Edmopteridae, which includes other lantern sharks that can produce light from photophores on their belly and fins. This ability helps them camouflage themselves from predators and prey in the dimly lit ocean depths. The dwarf lantern shark also has large eyes to see better in the dark. The dwarf lantern shark is only known from a few specimens collected off Colombia and Venezuela, at depths ranging from 283 to 439 meters, 928 to 1440 feet. Little is known about its biology and ecology, such as its diet, reproduction, and population status. It is not targeted by fisheries, but it could be threatened by accidental bycatch or habitat degradation. Number 6. The Starry Sea Star, Astropectin stellatus, a new species of sea star has been discovered in the deep waters of the Atlantic Ocean. The starry sea star, Astropectin stellatus, belongs to a group of sea stars that have flat, round bodies and five long arms. Unlike most sea stars, which have tube feet on their arms, these sea stars have rows of spines that help them move and capture prey. The starry sea star is named for its distinctive appearance. Its body and arms are covered with white spots that resemble stars in a dark sky. The spots are actually clusters of tiny spines that protect the sea star from predators and parasites. The starry sea star also has larger spines along the edges of its arms that can inflict painful wounds if touched. The starry sea star lives in depths of up to 2,000 meters, where light is scarce and food is limited. It feeds on small animals such as worms, crustaceans and mollusks that live on the seafloor. It uses its spines to dig into the sediment and find its prey. The starry sea star is an important part of the deep sea ecosystem as it helps recycle organic matter and provides food for other animals. Number 5. The Red-Tailed Ant, Myrmecia rubrura. A team of researchers from the University of Sydney has recently discovered a new species of ant that lives in the forests of eastern Australia. The ant, named Myrmecia rubrura, or the red-tailed ant, has a distinctive bright red abdomen that contrasts with its black head and thorax. The researchers described their findings in a paper published in the journal Ants. The red-tailed ant belongs to a group of ants known as bulldog ants, which are among the largest and most aggressive ants in the world. They have powerful jaws that can inflict painful bites and venomous stings that can cause allergic reactions in some people. The red-tailed ant is about 2.5 centimeters long and has long legs and antennae that help it navigate through the leaf litter. The researchers collected several specimens of the red-tailed ant from different locations and compared their morphology and DNA with other related species. They found that the red-tailed ant was genetically distinct from its closest relatives and had unique features that warranted its recognition as a new species. They also observed its behavior and ecology and found that it was a solitary hunter that preyed on other insects and spiders. Number 4. The Golden-Eyed Gecko. Gecko aureus. A team of biologists from Vietnam and Germany has discovered a new species of lizard in the limestone caves of Phong Nha Khu Bang National Park in Vietnam. The lizard, named Gecko aureus, belongs to the gecko family and has a distinctive yellow head with large golden eyes that help it see in the dark and hunt for insects. The researchers described the golden-eyed gecko in a paper published in the journal Zootaxa. They said that the lizard is about 10 centimeters long and has a brown body with black stripes that run along its back and tail. The gecko can also change its color to blend in with its surroundings, depending on the temperature and light conditions. The golden-eyed gecko is one of several new species of reptiles and amphibians that have been found in Vietnam in recent years. The country has a rich biodiversity and many habitats that are still unexplored by scientists. The limestone caves where the gecko lives are home to many other rare and endemic animals such as bats, snakes, frogs and fish. The scientists hope that their discovery will raise awareness and conservation efforts for these unique animals that are threatened by habitat loss and human activities. Number 3. The Ebony Tree Frog, Leptopelis eboreus. A team of scientists has announced the discovery of a new species of frog in the forests of Ivory Coast. The Ebony Tree Frog, Leptopelis eboreus, belongs to a group of frogs that live in the canopy of tropical rainforests. The Ebony Tree Frog is named after its dark brown coloration, which contrasts with yellow spots on its back and legs. The ebony tree frog has several adaptations that help it survive in its arboreal habitat. It has large eyes that allow it to see well at night, when it is most active. It also has long toes with adhesive pads that help it cling to branches and leaves. 
The ebony tree frog feeds on insects and other small animals that it catches with its sticky tongue. One of the most distinctive features of the ebony tree frog is its call, which sounds like a whistle. The call serves as a way of communication and attraction between males and females. The call also helps the scientists to locate and identify the frogs in the dense forest. The ebony tree frog is one of the many species that contribute to the rich biodiversity of Ivory Coast. Number 2. The Coiled Siphonophore Schmidtophora gigas a remarkable discovery was made by a team of marine biologists off the coast of Australia. They encountered a coiled siphonophore, Schmidtophora gigas, a type of colonial organism that consists of many individual animals called zooids. The siphonophore was estimated to be 46 meters, 150 feet, long, making it the longest animal ever recorded. Siphonophores belong to the phylum Nidaria, which includes jellyfish, corals, and anemones. They are predators that use stinging cells to capture prey such as fish and crustaceans. Some siphonophores, such as the Portuguese man o war, are well known for their painful stings to humans. However, most siphonophores live in the deep sea and are rarely seen. The coiled siphonophore, Schmidtophora gigas, is a new species that was first described in 2020. It has a unique morphology that allows it to form a spiral shape that resembles a rope or a spring. The researchers believe that this adaptation helps the siphonophore to maintain buoyancy and stability in the water column. The siphonophore also has bioluminescent organs that emit blue-green light, which may serve as a lure for prey or a signal for communication. Number 1. The Jonah's Mouse Lemur Microcebus janahi One of the most recent additions to the animal kingdom is a tiny creature that lives in the rainforests of Madagascar. The Jonah's mouse lemur, Microcebus janahi, was discovered in 2020 by a team of researchers who named it after one of their colleagues, Jonah Ratsambazify. This new species belongs to the group of primates known as mouse lemurs, which are among the smallest primates in the world. The Jonah's mouse lemur has a reddish-brown body with a white stripe on its nose and thick fur that helps it keep warm during the cold nights. It has large eyes and ears that allow it to see and hear well in the dark. It also has a long tail that helps it balance and communicate with other lemurs. It feeds on fruits, insects, and nectar, and sleeps in tree holes or nests during the day. The Jonah's mouse lemur is only found in a small area of rainforest in eastern Madagascar, where it faces many threats from habitat loss, hunting, and climate change. The researchers estimate that there are only about 2,000 individuals left in the wild, making it one of the most endangered primates in the world. They hope that by naming and describing this new species, they can raise awareness and conservation efforts for this unique and adorable animal. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. Follow us for more videos.